Good day, everybody. It's me, Waddles. Welcome back. In today's guide episode, we're going to do the most exciting, thrilling, excruciatingly exciting thing in the entire game. We're going to get a trident. Ah, uh, yes, a trident. And I take those words very, very seriously, too. This is basically the best thing in the game. It's a really, really nice process. It's fun a process. It's a process that won't take very long either. Uh, but anyways, welcome back to the guide series. I hope you're doing well. Iron Farm over there is definitely doing well, that's for sure. So, you know, we're basically rolling in shulker boxes now, so we're going to make another new one for today, and we're going to need these maps, too. I keep forgetting to update you on this farm over here. I upgraded it, push ears back in the dispensers. This thing is running, and running very, very well, too. I need a better storage system, though. It's manual right now. It's <laughs> really, really painful. I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll get around to that one day. Maybe we'll never get around to it. Only time will tell. So before we hunt for a trident today, we're definitely going to want to gear up on supplies. We're going to make a couple potions again. Even more impressively, right from the start this time, we'll be making the potions perfectly correct. We start with awkward potions, so nether wart and water. Next up, golden carrots. We're going to make a lot of potions today, so we'll make three of them. Golden carrot plus awkward potion, broomstone. This equals the night vision potion, then this time, to make it longer, yes, yes, not splash, to make it longer, redstone dust, right in there. Here we go. Three potions of night vision for eight minutes. After this, I'm going to go ahead and do this process two more times. So in the end, we'll end up with nine potions of night vision, all of them lasting for eight minutes. That's really good. And hopefully, that'll be enough for the entire episode today. Now, shulker box. Of course, we can't leave it like this. I'm thinking light blue. Light blue is a really nice color for the shulker box. Speaking of light blue, dark blue, the color of my right eye, the like button. Make sure you turn to blue. Appreciate it, appreciate it, as always. And it really helps out the series, the videos, everything YouTube-wise. Trident hunting supplies. What do you need? Well, actually, all you really need is a sword. A sword with looting three. Absolutely, 100%, do not do this without a looting three sword. I also highly, highly recommend having good armor. We'll be dealing with drowned armor with tridents. Very, very dangerous, not good at all. So, good armor. Aside from a good sword, looting three definite, everything else optional, including this brand new name. Look at this, I finally did it. This thing too. Aside from the sword, aside from armor, there's really nothing else you need. In the last episode, we were using night vision potions to basically x-ray cleanly through the water. We're going to do that again. Night vision potions are definitely optional, but might make your life, like, way, way easier. And that's it. Those are the supplies. Getting a trident is one of the most tricky things in the entire game. Like, no lie, it, it, it could be time-consuming. You're going to want to head off to an ocean that maybe you haven't been to as much, or an ocean that you've been to doesn't really make a difference, but make sure the ocean is big. You want a large body of water. Big body of water? I know exactly where it is. I'll meet you over there. The ocean, the cold, frozen wasteland to the north. We're back. We're back again today. At this point, we might as well have like a nether portal over here because we keep coming back and this might not even be the last time. So I chose the ocean way off to the north instead of the one really close to the base uh, for a simple reason. I think this thing is big, like really, really huge. The ocean by the base, I don't think it's as big. Today, we definitely want big. So we're over at the ocean. Drown can spawn in rivers and oceans, but ocean is going to be way better. Inside of the ocean, we'll be able to find ocean ruins that can also have drowned with them, which is great. Now at the ocean, there, there's water all over the place. Night vision potion, it is actually water's weakness. We can see right through it. We'll start with the water potion, then we'll drop a boat in the water, and we start sailing around. All that we need to do here is look around inside of the ocean for drowned. Drowned are going to spawn inside of the ocean. Eventually, a drowned will spawn with a trident. We take that drowned out with the trident. We get insanely lucky. Hopefully, first try, I'm trying to call it here. Manifest it. <laughs> yeah, if I could manifest this, this would be amazing. We find the drowned with the trident. We take the thing out, and then we get the trident. Easy, like that. Doesn't take hours of my time at all. And it's amazing, and I'm happy, and it's really good. Uh, the other option is we find a drowned with a trident, we take it out, and then it drops nothing, and we do that over and over. Hey, look, a geode. That's cool. The other option is way less exciting. It makes me way less happy. We find a drowned with a trident, we take the thing out, and we get nothing. We find another one with a trident, take it out, nothing again, and over and over and over again, and then eventually it wastes hours of our time, and we're unhappy. <laughs> uh, but anyways, manifesting. Yeah, th that's not going to happen. So up here on the top of the ocean with night vision, we can look around and see where drowned are spawning. What we're going to want to do is eventually jump into the water and take the drowned out. We're definitely going to want to make sure the drowned don't get too far away from us, because if they do, then they could despawn. And if they despawn, yeah, uh, obviously they're gone. This drowned right here, the very first one of the day, is actually not the perfect candidate at all. If we're trying to get a trident from a drowned, the drowned needs to be physically actually holding the trident. If it's not holding the trident, it can't drop it which is going to make things even more difficult. But I mean, hey, at least we can get copper. In 1.17, drown drop copper. 1.70.1, the drop rate was upped even more. In a normal survival world, eventually it's going to become nighttime. At nighttime, on the land, if there's any land nearby, like that island over there, you're going to have other hostile mobs spawn. That's not good at all. We want to concentrate the spawns inside of the ocean as much as possible. Definitely skip the nighttime. 
By concentrating the spawns inside the ocean as much as possible, we can focus on the drowned. And focus on the drowned, that's exactly what we need to do. On Bedrock Edition, 15% of drowned will spawn holding a trident. On Java Edition, oh boy, good news, good news. On Java, it's actually 6.25%. Like, that's it. I lost my boat. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind, never mind. There's the boat right over there. So we're looking for a drowned that spawned naturally holding a trident. On Java, 6.25% chance of that happening. That's not good at all. But it gets even worse. If you're lucky, it won't take very much time. If you're unlucky, it's gonna take a long time. Once you find a drone with a trident, you take it out, and then you're not even guaranteed the trident. Whoa, you have a trident. Hi, hi. You're not even guaranteed the trident. When you take a drone out that is holding a trident, it only has an 8.5% chance to drop without looting three. Like that. If you have looting three, which you definitely should if you're planning on doing this, then that chance is gonna move all the way up to 11.5%, but still, that's really, really not good at all. That's gonna make the trident the most difficult thing. I think, to get in the game, entirely. And the tridents that the drowned will be throwing, so like this thing right here, you can't pick them up. They're not real tridents. It's kind of like arrows with skeletons. If we want to talk base percentage drop rates, like without any looting at all, 8.5% actually isn't the lowest thing in the game. Definitely not at all. For reference, the wither skeleton skull without any looting has a 5.5% chance to drop. But here's the thing. Every single wither skeleton that spawns could theoretically drop a skull. Not every drowned. And so, the drowned from this area, they're all gone, and the night vision potion is too. Night Vision Potion number two. Ocean Ruins, like this spot right here. The Ocean Ruin is a great spot to start your drown hunt because drowns spawn with Ocean Ruins, at least most of them. The drown that spawn with the Ocean Ruins can definitely be holding a trident. Also, the drown that spawn with these things naturally when they generate won't despawn either. Start the hunt by finding an Ocean Ruin and checking out the drown that spawn there. If no luck, after that you have two options, a stay in one spot or move. Staying in one spot isn't that bad. With night vision potions, this isn't too bad, actually. You can easily wait around up on the surface, maybe on top of your boat, and see the drowned spawning. Drowned or zombies, they kind of have an insane lock-on radius. As long as you're in the same body of water as the drowned, you get near the thing, eventually it should lock onto you and start swimming over to you, which makes things even easier. If you end up staying in one spot, if you move around from one drowned to the other drowned, more drowned might end up spawning while you're moving between them, which is kind of cool. The other way is moving. Move through the ocean, maybe sail on top of it with a boat. Don't sail too fast, stop every once in a while and look around, but keep sailing. If you keep moving around, mobs that are spawning inside of the cave systems that are below the ocean will actually despawn. If they're idling around inside of the cave system, they're going to take up the mob cap. Not good at all. We need the mob cap as free as possible for all of the drowned today. And look at that, another giant ocean ruin. This is great. All right, so let's see. Right off the bat, I can see a couple drowns spawned inside of this thing. It doesn't look like any of them have tridents. Tridents aren't the only thing the drown can spawn holding. They can also spawn holding fishing rods, like that drown right there, and Nautilus Shell. The Nautilus Shell is really cool. I would love to hopefully get at least a couple Nautilus Shell today, but I mean, we'll see. That's not the goal. Ideally, if I can get lucky, two tridents. If I can get unlucky, then one trident. One trident is fine but at least one. That is the bare minimum. So there are so many drowned over here. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. The ocean ruins are just basically drowned cities. It's pretty cool. Sometimes the drowned can actually get trapped inside of the structures, so make sure you check the inside of the ruins too. I definitely hear one over here. I have no clue where it is though. Where are you? Also, don't forget to check the surface of the ocean. The items can float up to the top. If a trident floated up there and despawned, this is basically the saddest moment of all time. All right, well, unfortunately, I can't find the drown inside of that city, so I'm moving on. Back to sailing around the ocean. Now, over here is land. The only reason I'm staying by the land right now is to fill in the map a little bit. Once I fill in the map a little bit more, I'm going to stay out in the middle of the ocean. The middle of the ocean is going to be way better than any of the ocean by the land. If you have an ocean by land, then that means more cave systems. The ocean is deep. The land is not deep. If the land is less deep, that means more cave systems. More cave systems, more mobs inside of it, more mobs inside of it, less drawn to the ocean. Wow, so this is brutal. Night vision potion number three. No luck at all. The night vision is practically revolutionary here. You stand on top of the ocean and just literally look around and wait for a drown to spawn. It's so nice. But anyways, back to sailing. Now I was just talking about the deepness of the land. If the land is less deep, that means more caves. If the ocean is less deep, that also potentially means more caves. If you can find a deep ocean like where we started today or this area over here, deep ocean is going to be better. Aha, uh aha, -huh, aha. Uh -huh. I think I found another ruin. Uh, yeah, no, no, I definitely found another ruin. There's like a lot of buildings too. Any drown with tridents? Do you? No, you don't have a trident. Okay, you don't either. You don't either. Then none of them have tridents. That's gonna be the common theme today. Uh, none of them had. Oh, you have a nautilus shell. Hey, oh, somebody has a trident. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, let's go. This is a big moment. Will you drop a trident? If you drop a trident, we're hunting for a second trident right here. If you don't drop the trident, uh, hey, somebody else has one too. Okay, that was a letdown. That was definitely a letdown at first, but maybe you will drop it. Will you drop it? All right. At least there's a Nautilus shell. That's kind of cool. This is going to be the very first Nautilus shell of the entire world, I think, if one of them drops it. 
And then I'm actually getting so much copper. I already have a 10th copper ingot. This is insane. Look, two more ingots over here. Exactly. Exactly my point. Yeah, so I think that makes it pretty clear. Uh, Ocean Ruins are clearly where it's at. At that time, two drawn with tridents. Unfortunately, no luck, but two drawn with tridents. That's promising. That, that's really, really good. Back to sailing. While you're sailing, it's a really good idea to stop every once in a while. I like to stand on top of the boat and just look around. If you keep sailing and never stop, it's definitely going to be way easier to miss drown. Look at how many spawned over here while I was sailing around. This is good. Tridents are really cool. They're melee and ranged. I was really excited for them when they were added in 1.13. I never realized how difficult and how rare they would be to get. Because once you get a trident, that, that's cool, you have a trident. Uh, but it's going to drop and not be in perfect condition. To fix a trident up, you either have to get another trident, like, like a whole second one, go through the process again and fix it up. And then it might not even be at max durability. Or you have to get mending. Now, realistically, getting mending nowadays isn't too tricky at all. But still, it's like the point of it all. It's such a grindy thing to get. You would think you would be able to at least repair it with something. Maybe even like prismarine shards. I feel like that would kind of make sense, but but no. And also, the durability isn't really even that good, too. Uh, it has the same durability as an iron sword. And hold on a minute. I heard that. Another one right over here. Where are you? Oh, you're in the kelp. You're in the kelp. My guy, camouflage. It doesn't work. Night vision's going away. Let's go. Please, please. This time, please. I'm desperate. Just drop the trident. Did, did you drop the trident? It, it indeed did not drop the trident. I'll, okay, that that is good. No, that is... Uh, whatever. Well, I mean, fine, fine, really. It's okay. On the bright side of things, it's nighttime. And the night vision potion is gone, so it's time to sleep, I guess. Uh, it's fine. Sooner or later, it's going to work. I guarantee it. Like, eventually, it will work. It, it has to work. I mean, like, so many drone keeps spawning in this area, too. There must be basically no cave system, so they're all concentrated in the ocean. This is good. I might hang around in this spot for a little while and try this out. Because good. I mean, look at this. This is a literal horde of a horde of drone. I've been saying a couple negative things about tridents and drone spawning and things like that, so I, I feel like I should balance it up. The one nice thing that I do like about this is the drone's lock-on radius. It's, like, really, really good. I can stand in this area. That drone should eventually wake up and, I think, find me. And then this one found me from... I have no clue where. Like, it just locked down and started coming over. Hey, my guy. Okay, you know what? Maybe I take it back. Maybe I take on the, the compliment. I take the compliment back. It's mine now. Oh yeah, I need to actually remember to not physically drown myself too. That, that would be really, really good. Having all these water enchantments definitely helps though. I mean, aside from getting a looting three sword, it's also probably a really, really good idea to get the water enchantments on your boot and your helmet so you don't have to worry really about drowning or moving around quickly in the water. It'll be interesting to see the best way to find geodes in 1.18. Like, they're being moved down, so they're probably not going to be the ocean. And look at all these mobs. Yeah, there must not be any caves over here. Oh, the Enderman's mad. Oh, that, that's awkward. Why don't you just come out here and give me, my guy? Uh, you two, while we're at it, just both of you, come right over here. Okay, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm messing with the with the Enderman right there, but this thing is throwing a trident at me. This is the one. Let's go. Pauline. Pauline is your name. Pauline, drop the trident. Oh, my. Wait, another one just spawned. Another one just spawned right over there with a the trident. Let's go. Let's go. And hey, hey, look at this drown. This drown has an enchanted trident. That's really, really cool. Now, the drown uh, can spawn with a trident with enchantments, clearly, uh, but it won't be able to use the enchantments. The enchantments are kind of like player specific. Please drop that trident. Like, if you drop this thing, I will be really, really happy right now. Ecstatic, even. Ecstatic. Which is what I'm not feeling right now. There's another horde of drone. Oh, but yeah, if you think about the trident enchantments, most of them are player-specific, like Riptide. Yeah, the, the drone definitely doesn't use Riptide, Trident channeling, things like that. It won't actually be able to use any of the enchantments that are on the trident. But when you get the trident, it could have the enchantments. If you get the trident. Well, this spot just works. Like, this literally just works. I'm not moving until I get a trident from this area, because look at this. There's even more spawn down there. I hear another one right behind me. Like, there's, like, no cave systems, and the geo kind of proves it. This is nice. Like, this is really, really good. I had a feeling this was going to be the ocean to go to. It's so big and expansive, and I remember it being deep when we were looking for the shipwrecks. This is great. And hey, what's this? Oh, it's a room. That's cool. If we light this thing up, the spawns will stop inside of the geode. And, I mean, if five things don't spawn inside of the geode... That's five more chances, potentially, for things to spawn inside of the ocean. So I have my night vision right now, which is going to make it a little bit tricky to tell where the dark spots are. Actually impossible, but I don't know. I mean, you tell me. I feel like this looks really good. Back to the ocean, where from my experience, there should definitely be more drawn waiting for me. Exactly. There's two. There's two so far. Oh, there's a third one over there and a fourth one. They're all just locking onto me. Maybe I can clear the calf out too. I mean, I might as well just just make this like the spot right i mean at the same time i don't know uh do i really need this much kelp uh definitely not and is the kelp in my way also not really because the drone just find me maybe i'll just leave it 
I always forget about the things in my offhand. I'm sorry about that. That's my bad. We don't need the map if we're not moving. Usually, I wouldn't recommend this. Move around in the ocean. Keep sailing and spawning drown and stopping every once in a while and looking around. But if you find an area like I have that is just working, like, what's the point of moving? Like, just stop. Is that a... Is that one? No, no. This is just one. Please drop it. Come on. Come on. You see how painful this is. This is really painful. But I mean, hey, there's always a chance to get a fishing rod, right? Nope. Not even that. All right. That's fine. This one doesn't have it, but the baby drowned that are armed with tridents, like the first one that we found, are the most dangerous things in the world, practically. They move quick, and they throw tridents to deal insane amounts of damage. The netherite armor helps so much. It makes it so much safer. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to use all of these night vision potions today. I mean, I still have a lot left, for sure. But that was the fifth one. Only four left. Back to the water. I'm in the ocean right now, clearly, next to another geo that I just found, which is actually cool, and another drowned trident. Hey, 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 please, please, please. It's the middle of the night. I need to sleep really quick. Let's go. Let's go, please. <sighs> My drowned brethren, the army, not the child, come with me. I need to go back to the land and sleep. Actually, you know what? I could just take the one with the shell out and go back to the land and sleep. The other ones technically don't matter. I'm so far away from the land. I should probably light that thing up. I think I left my bed on the land, did I? Uh-oh. I don't have it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. It's right there. But the island is filled with mobs now. Oh, and look at this. This guy spawned right here. I was meant to sleep right now. Don't you know? It's like time to sleep. But, I mean, if you want to drop the trident, uh, that would have been great. Really, I don't know how many different ways I could be disappointed when a drown doesn't drop a trident, but I guess we're going to find out. Because it's disappointing. Even more and more. Every single time. This is my island now. And it's time to sleep. And now, it's time to go back into the water, because it looks like there are a ton of drowned waiting around, including... Oh, I thought I heard that. I thought there was one with a trident over there, but I mean, you're right here. Maybe this is the one. This is definitely going to be the one this time. Okay. No, well, not this time. But yes, I thought so. I thought there was one over here. I saw it off in the distance. Maybe it wasn't the one that I thought, but it's fine, because we got the trident. Wow. So this is it. This is the true, real, raw experience of hunting for a trident in survival Minecraft. It's very exciting. Exhilarating, even. And actually, because Drown spawned with more tridents on Bedrock, uh, it's going to be a little bit easier to do over there. Which is really, really jealous. I mean, I'm saying so many negative things again, though, so to balance it out, at least we found this really, really good spot. And also, I've been learning the piano, and that's been going really, really well. So, that's good. At least I can hunt for Drown in this one spot, and at least I kind of know the piano. That's really awesome. So basically, one day I got bored. I have two main hobbies, Minecraft and, and music. I love both of the things. I mean, I like clothes too, but like, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, sit there and make clothes? Well, you know, actually, that's not a bad idea. I should try that. I already play Minecraft a lot, like every day. So it was back to the music one for me. I can play the guitar. I've been able to play it for a long time. I had a lot of fun learning the guitar too. So I figured, why not try and learn a new instrument? I could already play a little bit of the piano. So that's what I've been working on. Honestly, it's been going really good too. I don't know if it's because I already know how to play an instrument or what. I can't read music, but learning to play the piano is actually really easy. I like it, and it's really fun. Maybe I'll give you piano updates in the future. Even write you a song. Aw. A negative statement to balance all of those positive things out. Hunting for tridents is not fun at all. So, this is night vision potion number six. If you do the math eight times six, that's a lot of minutes that I've been hunting for drowned now. Basically the entire time. At this point, I would definitely consider myself unlucky with how many drowned with tridents that I've found. If I can get one trident, like just one, I'll be happy today. So far, I have been able to get so much rotten flesh, though. Like, look at this. One, two, three, four, five. And then starting the sixth stack of the stuff. And then some of the stuff even despawned, too. That's a lot of rotten flesh. Like, so much of the stuff. Well, that's okay, because another one spawned right over here. No trident, though. Look what I found. Glow squid. There's a couple glow squid inside of this cave system. I wonder what they're doing. Perhaps mining. Well, well, well. What is that you're holding? Do you care to maybe share it with me? If you would share it with me, that would be amazing. Yeah, so I'm okay with grindy things. Like, I don't mind working on big projects, doing grindy processes like this. Like, it's okay. That's fine. But I feel like this thing right here is one thing that needs to be addressed and maybe fixed in, like, a future update. Even just, like, a small patch. Like, honestly, maybe just making drown spawn with tridents a little bit more or upping the drop rate. Like, literally just a little bit. Like, a 20% drop rate. Something like that. Maybe with, like, looting 3 or something. Like, anything. A little bit better than 11.5% drop rate with looting 3. Uh, w would be really, really nice to have. Tridents are so cool, too. And there's literally nothing in the game to repair them, other than other tridents or an enchantment. So, Minecraft. I've done the analysis, the reports, crunch the numbers. I see zero downside at all to making drown drop tridents a little bit more. Could be great. 
You know, one thing that I just realized, I haven't been checking on this side of the island at all. Not that it really makes much of a difference, but I haven't been in over here in this ocean, and it seems like it's spawning a lot of drown over here too. You know what I technically could be doing is this. Fishing rod hook, uh... Okay, maybe not. Fishing rod, this is the drone. Yeah, never mind. Kelp boar should be an ocean biome. Like, an ocean biome with, like, just tons of kelp. Maybe even different kinds of kelp or something. But, like, kelp everywhere. A ton of kelp. It's called the kelp forest. Okay, so small problem. The spawning rates are slowing down a little bit, which is terrible news. What I think I'm going to do is sail away from this spot right now. Maybe just, like, straight up on this map for a little bit of ways to despawn everything in this area. Then I'm going to come back, and hopefully it'll pick back up again. Mobs despawn when you move far enough away from them. By doing this, moving far away from that spot right there, everything that has spawned inside of the cave systems down below the ocean, all of it should go away. That'll free up more space in the ocean for drowned. And tridents. And drowned. Whoa, that's insane. Look at that ravine. It cuts clean through that island. That's really, really cool looking. I'm back, and also, night vision is back. It's go time. It's go time. There's another drown with a trident right here, and this is... Please, please be the one. Please? Were you the one? No. No, why did I think that was the one? That's so weird. I guess this video is really just to prove my point about trident hunting, and how it needs to be improved and fixed in an update soon. <laughs> please. Listen, pal, friend, good buddy, acquaintance, like literally anything, I'll tell you anything. Please, just, just drop the trident. Pl <gasps> it did it. It did it. It actually listened. I didn't even know what to call it. It did it. And it's in trash condition. Five, durability. Wow. Wow. Just, <laughs> wow. So many in night vision potions later. So many. I don't even know how much, uh, one minute and a half left. So many potions later. And we have a trident. I'm in shock. I'm in awe. I don't even know what to say. We have a trident. And the drown just keeps spawning. They're spawning all over the place out here. There's so much rotten flesh. I, I have so much copper by now. I have a Nautilus shells. I think four is the last time, uh, is the last amount that I checked. Uh, yeah, four of these things. So it took a long time, like a lot of time, clearly. And the funny thing is, uh, we don't even get to use the trident yet. We can't even enjoy it until we have enchantments on it. But we have a trident, which is pretty cool. Now, the odds are against me, for sure. Definitely not looking good so far today. But what I think I'm going to do is hang around in the ocean for a little bit longer. How long? One more night vision and, and the rest of this one. Odds are against me, for sure. It took a really, really long time to get one single trident. But maybe, uh, just maybe, I could get like really lucky here. I already hear one. Uh, maybe I could get insanely lucky and just get a second trident. If I could get two tridents, that would be amazing. What would I do with the two tridents? Well, of course, I would build two separate tridents, both equally as good, uh, but for different things. Both would be great. It could be actually pretty cool too. So right now, eight minutes on the clock. Here we go. Eight minutes gone. I saw, I think, maybe two, three drowned with the tridents. Uh, of course, none of them dropped the trident. But that's fine. We have one trident. That's good. I have this much rotten flesh, and good news. I found two more Nautilus shells in that final eight minutes. So that's good. I bought a stack of copper, three fishing rods, a little bit of kelp, bones, and string from that one nighttime, and ink. But now what? Now it's time to get back home. Now we're really, really far from home. What I think I'm going to do is actually swim. I'm going to bring the shulker box with me. I'm going to bring the bed with me. And I'm going to bring the boat with me. But instead of uh, just sailing on the surface, I'm going to swim. Hopefully, uh, while I'm swimming home, I'll be able to find a drown somewhere in this ocean like that. Like that. It has a trident right there. Maybe we'll be able to find a drown and it'll drop a trident. I just want one more trident. It would be cool to have two tridents, I think. Um, unlikely. But potentially cool. I'm also going to try and fill in the map a little bit more, which means over this way a little bit and then straight down. And yeah, every single time I hear a drown with a trident, I'm going to stop and try and take this thing out. And hopefully, by the time I make it back to the... Yeah. Two tridents. I wanted two tridents, and I have two tridents. <laughs> two tridents. Okay, well, um, that, was, that went differently. I, I'm going to swim anyways. Maybe I'll get three tridents. Maybe three tridents on the way back to the base... Wow, so I spent like an hour or, or whatever it was. I, I spent a really long time uh, hunting for the first trident. And the second one comes like right after that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I mean, I can't complain. No, 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 no more negative things today. Okay, I'm going to swim home. I'll meet you back over at the base. Maybe with more tridents. Maybe more Nautilus shells too. 
Oh man. <laughs> Dolphin's grace is so cool. Swimming around in the ocean for most likely a really long time. That's how you do it. That's how you find drowned. So the map has filled in a little bit more now. Looks pretty cool. I filled it in a little bit over here too. And we're back over at the base with two tridents. I did not find any more Nautilus shells or any more tridents after the last one. A little bit of a bummer, but two tridents. I also found this bee nest on the way back to the base with two bees inside of it. I have three bee nests with two bees inside of each one. Time for today's comment of the day. I uh, gotta be honest, this is maybe the biggest one yet. Episode 171. Series ending soon. Maybe. Yes, yes, the series. The Minecraft Guide, Season 3. The guide in general. Maybe coming to an end. Very soon. It's actually pretty sad. I'm kind of bummed about it, but I feel like it's the only thing that makes sense. Minecraft 1.18 will be releasing soon, and it's completely different. Worlds are 100%, like, basically moved into a new era. I just don't think it would make very much sense at all to take this world with the old generation and upgrade it to 1.18. I'm still not 100% sure, though, and there's one more thing that I'd like to get done in this world before the series ends. If you have any thoughts on it, drop it down in the comments. I'll probably talk about it a little bit more in a future episode. I've had a lot of fun making the series and all the guys, so trust me, <laughs> it's not an easy decision to make. But uh, anyways, that's it for Minecraft Guide 171. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe. My patrons, A. Johnson, 6494, Medical Boomstick, and Swoopy Louvers. Thank you all so much for the support. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. It's been me. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.